Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. The first vlog of 2023, a new year, a fresh start, a new chapter really has begun and I just feel it in the air. I just feel like this year we're going to do so many exciting things. We're going to make memories, we're going to have ups and we're going to have a few downs but we're going to have more ups and we're just going to have thriving, exciting times. We're a week and a bit into 2023 and I'm finally picking up the camera, I'm finally getting back into a bit more of a routine, getting back into doing things which I love and I just feel a little bit more settled. I feel like I push myself at the start of every single year to like go, 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 like to do the absolute most and to just pick up from where I left off back in December. This year I just decided, do you know what? This year is really focusing on me and I'm not gonna do that. I'm not just gonna try and jump back into it and then by February I'm burnt out again. I wanted to take it slow and then when I was ready and I just felt a little bit more settled with work, personal stuff, Stuff, admin stuff you know how it is like start of January end of Christmas everything just kind of comes all at once and there are just kind of things that you need to sort out fortunately I just feel like I'm ready I'm ready to sit back down to pick up the camera to vlog so the first thing I'm gonna share is what is behind me so we've had some few uh, flat updates some furniture updates and I'm so excited to share this one because this came as I was away for Christmas we've got a new lounge chair so let me get up and show you so this is the new chair in our living room and it just sits in the back corner so it's where our Christmas tree was so it's basically just gone in replacement of that then we've just popped the lamp behind it it's honestly such a cozy little nook such a cozy little corner for the evenings it is absolutely humongous like it could genuinely fit two people on like it's basically a love seat a love chair and it's one of those pieces that you walk into the space and you're just instantly drawn to and you're like oh that looks cozy I'm gonna go sit down I'm gonna have a good time so yeah we're really happy with how this looks obviously we still have little bits and bobs to do in the room like we want to get some wall art maybe a ladder shelf somewhere but it's just nice to pretty much now have all of the large pieces of furniture done if anyone knows if anyone is a plant lover or a plant expert please can you let me know how to revive this plant because I've tried spraying it I've tried um watering it and it just is not thriving guys like I really don't know what to do I don't know whether to cut off these kind of dead leaves and let it grow because there's clearly like some growth like it's not completely dead but it just isn't doing the best that it should be so if you if you know or can help me at all please do let me know let me uh, take you to my bedroom let me take you to my chamber because I want to talk to you guys about some bedroom plans so I feel like it was yesterday that I was updating you all on kind of moving into this flat and the fact that we've been here since September so what is that September October November December January we've been here now just over five months so we're coming up to half a year <laughs> Kaboom, WTF. But now it's getting to that stage where, you know, I've been happy with it for a couple of weeks and I've put away my Christmas decorations and it's just feeling a little bit too empty, a little bit too sparse. I wanna spruce it up a little bit. I wanna make it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more of a Jamie Deer space. And I have a few ideas. So on this back wall, I've obviously got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing on this back wall, but I'm thinking about buying some prints to go on it. I genuinely don't know what prints to put above it. I may be thinking like black and white ones, like some beautiful, simple kind of illustrative uh, artwork. And maybe like, do I get two? Do I get three? I'm not too sure. Like, I think I want to go big, maybe like two big ones. So that's what I'm kind of thinking for above my bed. And then I'm actually getting some new bedding for my birthday, which I'm very excited about, which is like a neutral, kind of like this color, like a beige color. Oh my God, I haven't shown you this. Oh my God, this is a, an anxiety weighted blanket, which uh, my flatmates got me for my Christmas present. It is absolutely humongous. It's extra large. And on one side, it's this gorgeous, like fleecy, cozy material. And then on the other, it's just this kind of like uh, brown taupey color. And it's got like little beads in it. So it's very, very heavy because obviously it's used for kind of calming you, kind of acting like a hug. Um, when you are kind of dealing with an anxiety attack or a panic attack, it has genuinely helped me so, so much. And it actually helps me to sleep at night. I really, really like it. And I actually bought these uh, pillow covers to go over the pillows that I already had. Uh, these are just from H&M. I really, really like this kind of like oatmeal-y, beige -y brown color. So I kind of want to stick to that theme because I just feel like the jelly cats are the main attention of the bed. But I do like that kind of neutral, natural vibe. But I also don't want to go like really plain 
and boring. Like I do like the more kind of deeper, darker, richer oranges and browns. So that's why I'm thinking about potentially getting a new kind of long cushion to go in replacement of this snuggle season one, because obviously this snuggle season is a little bit more like specific for autumn, winter. So I want to get one that's kind of good for all year round. And I also want to get, um, you know, like those giant cushions, which you find in like hotels, like fancy hotels. I want to get like two like of the giant ones. And then I've got the two ones in the front and then like a nice oblong one. Some would say that is far too excessive for one bed for one person. But to them, I just say, well, I like to be cozy and the more pillows, the better. And also I was kind of thinking, here above my radiator this bit of my room is kind of not giving me the vibes i absolutely love my exposed rail and my shoes but also like mm, i don't know i just feel like something needs to go here maybe like a big piece of leaning artwork i'm not too sure if anyone has any recommendations please let me know i've also been thinking about like other ways to kind of store my shoes i don't know whether i'm liking the exposed kind of shoe storage anymore i don't know whether it looks too kind of cluttered and messy and too busy. I'm just kind of using this month to kind of play around with a few ideas, kind of see what I like, see what I want to do to it. I just want to use this next six months that I'm in the flat uh, to just really tailor it to me because if anyone didn't know, uh, we've signed the contract for two years. So obviously I don't have to worry about in six months time leaving. So I feel like I've got time to kind of really like personalize this flat and make it my own. So I'm just kind of like focusing on myself, which I've been loving. Like I'm not even being a funny guy if you're not focusing on yourself I can't recommend just spending some time really digesting and really learning to understand what you want uh, whether that's kind of like what you want from a space what you want from your career what you want goal wise uh, just kind of like looking at your life and seeing okay how am I going to make myself feel uh, happier and better every day and it doesn't even need to be big things it can just be small little touches and small little things that you can work towards plan get inspired by and for me at the moment that is uh, my space. It's making my space feel a little bit more me, a little bit more cozy. And I know that I don't need to like rush with it. I don't need it instantly, but it's just, it's nice to think about it because then I feel like I'm like moving forward with it, if that makes sense. This afternoon, I am, I need to do a few things actually. I need to go charity shopping. I need to go donate some clothes that I realized over Christmas I did not like and I did not wear. So I'm going to go and donate those this afternoon. I also want to have a look at some charity shops whilst I'm there, see if I can pick any little bits up. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to Home Bargains, the big Home Bargains that I took you all to in one of my earlier Vlogmas episodes. I think it was Vlogmas Day two or three and I haven't been back since so I need to go and get like some scrub daddies some cleaning stuff so I I'm looking forward to my little home bargains trip and I'm also tempted to uh pop along to Primark Home or TK Maxx or just some like homeware shops oh I'm gonna make some dinner tonight I might make like a stir fry because I've got the ingredients and I need to make it but anyway I'm going off tangent so I'm gonna get ready to leave oh let me show you my Uggs these are the Ugg Tasman uh boots shoes uh, so these are a Christmas present from my mum and my dad and I absolutely love them. I obviously wanted them, I did ask for them. They're not only a Jamie Deere colour palette and a Jamie Deere staple, but they're also like outdoor slippers. Cozy and fashionable. Hello, does that not scream Jamie Deere? And they're so cute! Oh my god, I just love them so much. <laughs>
home and I'm in my pyjamas. How cute are these pyjamas? I mean, they're quite exposing. I mean, hello chest hair. I mean, I've actually just shaved, so I haven't got any chest hair left. How cute are they? Just little striped pyjamas from Tesco. So cute. And they've got little matching trouser pants. I love a pyjama set. I just think they're so cute. It's been a couple of hours since I have last updated you. Obviously, you will have enjoyed my little montage of going to a charity shop, going to Home Bargains, and also going to Westfield just to look at a few homeware shops. This morning, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about getting something like this and something like this but I didn't have a clear idea as to what I wanted and then I went shopping and for the first time ever I found everything or most of the things that I was talking about earlier in those shops and that never happens especially with homeware most of the time I have to order it online so I was very very impressed and now I get to bring it back and put things in their places I can't wait to show you a little haul of everything that I picked up today I am starving I am hungry so I'm gonna cook some dinner what I want to cook is uh, stir fry. I really like using mints. This is gonna sound so boring. I really like using mints. Uh, so I like making like lasagnas, enchiladas, chili con carnies. Uh, I'm quite good at using mints. But in terms of chicken, I just don't tend to reach for it as much. So I haven't made a stir fry in a long, long time. I don't even know if I've got all the ingredients. I mean, I've got chicken, this little pepper stir fry bowl, and then some egg noodles. I reckon that'll be fine, surely. I mean, I can cut up some additional, like, peppers. I'm just fancying, like, a really easy, lazy dinner. Let's go! I need to pack away this dry, honestly. Sometimes in life, I'm like, oh, I need to do that, I need to do that. And you feel like you're ticking things off of your uh, to-do list. But it genuinely, the quote, never-ending to-do list, is actually, like, honestly, fact. It's all right, because small wins, slow progress, and uh, we're not being hard on ourselves in 2023. We're not putting ourselves in loads of pressure. We have enough pressure from external people as, as it is. We don't need to put any more pressure on ourselves. I used to do food tech before GCSEs started and we used to make the most uh, insane things like sausage roll platters. Not anything which I would actually need to cook, like, you know, a stir fry. I mean, maybe we did, but I don't remember anything. Everything that I remember cooking, why can I not get this packet open, was always like, really extravagant dishes, or it would be like a three course meal. I actually needed to learn how to make a curry, a chili con carne, a stir fry. I mean, it's really not that hard, but for me, my dad always makes this joke. He's like, Jamie, you're very intelligent, but you've also got no common sense. And I genuinely believe that is true. Like I'm very good academically, but put me in a situation where it's like, oh my gosh, what should I do? Like, what does this washing machine um, kind of number mean? How do I do this? How do I cut up this? Like I'm absolutely useless. Over Christmas, I also showed you guys uh, how I was getting on with my air fryer, which I am absolutely still loving. One of those rotating goals that I have kind of throughout the year, um, and especially now we've kind of entered 2023, I want to do more, is like home cooked meals. So for example, like chili con carnies, curries, uh, stir fries, just things which use more like fresh uh, fruit and vegetables because I can get very lazy sometimes. I mean, naturally, because obviously life is very busy and I'll just like put something in the air fryer or like, you know, I'll shove a pizza in the oven. I just want to make more of a, an effort to like cook healthy meals. And I want to learn to make sweet potato. Why is this chicken? Hello, Miss Chicken, please cut because your pan is ready. Please don't judge me for the way I'm cooking. I know that I am not a very good cook. I know you're probably saying, Jamie, that's not a chicken knife. That's not, what is that? Hello? I know I probably use wrong knives and all sorts. I know I'm probably using wrong utensils and cutting things wrong, but it works for me. But I really want to learn how to make sweet potato fries because whenever I go to a restaurant, I almost always upgrade my normal potato fries to sweet potato fries because I just love them so much. But I don't know how to make them and I know you can make them really well in just an air fryer. My chicken is nicely cooking. Let's pop the pepper stir fry in. Oh my god, I love bean sprouts. I forget how much I love a stir fry. You've only got one shot, so make it count. You may never get this moment again. I think this looks really good. Like I say, it's nothing fancy. She looks good. Bon appetit. I'm just going to serve it and then I'll put the rest in a little Tupperware and pop it into the fridge to have tomorrow. But I think for a nice little stir fry, 
Mmm, I think it I think it will taste good as well. I'm thinking of adding a bit of chili, but apart from that, I think she's all ready to be served up. Trying it out. I mean, I have cooked this multiple times before. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making such a big show of it, but you know, this one could be the one that tastes disgusting. I don't know. And to be fair, I did put extra chilies in it. So I wonder how much of a kick it has. Okay, you ready? I may have put too much in my bowl. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's very good. Oh my. Those chilies have a kick. <laughs> but whenever I present meals, does anyone ever think about Ratatouille? Obviously Ratatouille is an iconic movie, but um, when I'm in the kitchen or when I'm plating dishes, do you know at the end where they're like making the final Ratatouille dish for the um, food agent guy? And they're like all prepping this and he pops the thing on top. That is genuinely how I feel in the kitchen when I'm plating dishes, though the reality is far from. But I genuinely think that a rat could make food better than I could in the kitchen. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my dinner, uh, get my water, which you're currently balanced on, watch some YouTube, and then I can give you a haul of everything that I bought today. So I'll speak to you in a bit. I need to have a hair wash tomorrow. I mean, it's looking very, very greasy at the moment. I need to wash it tomorrow. I have finished dinner and I'm currently back in my bedroom and I'm going to give you a little bit of a haul of some things which I picked up today. The first thing I picked up was this quarter to sip Gant sweatshirt which I absolutely love obviously Gant is a very very expensive brand this cost me 15 pounds and it's also what did it say a super fine lamb's wool and I just love the navy color it, it feels super super soft I donated a pair of trousers and a cardigan and then I walked out of that same charity shop with a new pair of trousers and obviously that quarter zip but I bought a different pair of trousers so these are Obey green carpenter trousers and obviously Obey is another one of those kind of like luxury streetwear brands these cost me 15 pounds and they're just so so nice I love this kind of forest green color uh, and I just thought they'd be really really cute for spring they come up a little bit more kind of like loose and cropped but I thought again with like a high top converse they look so nice so those were two little bits that I picked up in the charity shop for my uh, spring wardrobe and then from home bargains the complete opposite side of the spectrum I um, picked up some cleaning bits so these were bits which I actually needed to get today I didn't actually need or set out to buy any clothes uh, but that's always the way for me when I was trying shopping I go in and I'm like looking around the home section and I'm always like oh I'll pop to the the men's section see if there's anything exciting see if there's anything I want to try on and it just so happens that today there were two little pieces but from home bargains I just bought some Dettol antibacterial surface wipes because I'd run out and also a new scrub daddy because the current scrub daddy we have is a Christmas tree so I thought I'd get a new one and also I had no idea that the mouth is meant to be used for like things like cutlery to like slide it in with. Uh, so that was uh, something that I learned the other day and I was like, wow, you learn something new every day. I went into Westfield and I picked up some homeware bits, which I actually wasn't expecting, but I'm so excited to, as I said at the beginning of this vlog, kind of start making small little changes to my room, make it feel more me, update it a little bit. The first thing that I picked up was from Next. It was £6.50. It's literally a tiny little kind of like sage green plant pot they had them in different colors as well and then it's like a trailing green fake plant i thought that was really cute for six pounds fifty another thing that i got from next which is currently on my bed because i wanted to see what it looked like and i absolutely love it is this new cushion so as i said at the beginning of the vlog i wanted to buy a new oblong cushion to replace my snuggle season cushion i just wanted one that was good for all year round could go with any bedding could go with any different kind of like pillowcases that i chose and I picked this one up for £20 in Next. So it comes with the filling inside as well as a pillowcase, which to be fair, most of the time you have to buy them separately. So it can work out a little bit more expensive doing that. But obviously this was £20 for the entire cushion. It's got four little tassels. It's in this lovely like off-white cream colour. And then I popped into Primark Home, which was definitely a godsend. The universe really told me, Jamie, this is the place you need to be to buy homeware. The first thing that I picked up was this little candle holder, candle pot. It's in this lovely like olive green colour. And then you just pop one of those like standard tall candlesticks in. And then as it melts it kind of collects there which I thought was really nice because I've got a lot of those tall candlesticks as you guys know but I don't have anywhere to put them where I can actually burn them and it won't like ruin like other decor or a table or the floor or something it was only 50p so this is going to go in the living room
room on the coffee table. I also bought two things which are exactly the same, but I'm going to show you one and then you'll get the gist. I bought so happy so this is a extra large uh photo artwork frame there we go it's a piece of artwork i feel like i need to move the camera back so you guys can see but how lovely is this piece of artwork the neutral aesthetic will work perfectly in here and then the pop of black to go with the pops of black in my room i just thought that was really really nice so obviously i've got two of them and then one of them is going to sit like that and then the other one is going to sit the other way. So it's exactly the same print, uh, but I'm gonna flip them around so they look like two different prints, but also they're gonna work so well together because they are the same print. They were originally £12 each and they rung up for £6. So I got both photo frames for £12. And considering that's £12 for two extra large pieces of artwork and two extra large photo frames. I just thought that was an absolute steal. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to try and attempt to pop them up above my wall. And yeah, I'm so excited. I just love artwork. I think it can really change a space. I feel like I need something above the bed because I don't have a headboard. So I feel like I need some drama behind me. I also want to show you uh, something that I've picked up for my pudding because you guys know me, I have such a big sweet tooth, but also I can't have dinner and and not enjoy a little sweet treat after. Some may say it's too soon, but I have no restraint when it comes to sweet treats and chocolate. I got my first cream egg of the year. So this is a white chocolate cream egg. So I thought for my pudding this evening, uh, just as a little well done for getting through the week, Jay, I would treat myself, oh my gosh, look how delicious this white chocolate cream egg. Oh my gosh, should we try it? It's been in the fridge as well. I popped it in the fridge earlier. Mm. Oh my God. I love cream eggs so much. I personally prefer cream eggs to mini eggs. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have already bought a packet of mini eggs this year and it's literally January. Easter isn't until, what is it, March, April? And there's already Easter eggs in stores. There's already cream eggs. There's already mini eggs. But as soon as I see them, I get so excited because they're never sold throughout the rest of the year. So I'm like, oh my God, I need to start now. But how good does that look? Oh my gosh, so good. So I'm gonna leave you here and I'll obviously update you in the morning when I hopefully put my prints up on the wall. Oh, I'm very excited. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, my loves. So it is now the following day, the next day, and the sun is shining, beautiful blue skies, which I think is one of the first nice days of January. So it's finally nice to wake up to some actually good weather. But I'm finally going to be putting up my prints above my bed onto the wall, which I have a love-hate relationship with. I love doing it, but also because I'm such a like, perfectionist, it can take me a while. I kind of get very in my head with like, does it look straight? Is it angled right? Is it there? Is there enough space between both prints? So I'm hoping I'm not going to get into that headspace today. So as I said yesterday, my aim is to put one of them like that and then the other one the other way around. That's the aim, that's the finished product, the end goal. I'm hoping this works out. I'm not a very good visualizer. Whenever I, you know, have a plan of like an outfit or like a meal that I wanna make or like something in the room, I find it so hard to visualize it unless it's like physically in the space or like physically hung up on the wall. But the thing is with artwork, obviously I can't hang it up on the wall and then return it, do you know what I mean? So I'm just hoping that my mind hasn't played tricks on me, it hasn't played any games, uh, and actually it will look as good as I think it will in my head. I'm hoping that it stays up. Did anyone ever read those books called um, Flat Stanley? When I was a kid, I read this book called Flat Stanley, and it basically gave me a fear of sleeping underneath prints on my wall. So when I was at uni, I never put anything like above my bed because I was always worried that like during the night, the frame or the print would fall down and then I'd become squished because Flat Stanley basically is squished by uh, a picture and then he becomes like flat as like a piece of paper and then he just is like Flat Stanley. Uh, so I've been scarred from my childhood. So it's only recently that I've actually started putting prints above my bed because I've realised Jamie is literally a book. I genuinely don't know how high or how low. What are we thinking? Maybe like there? Does that look good? I need someone else. Oh, I'm not good at visualising. I need someone here to tell me. But no, I am an independent man. I am going to work 
to work, to work this out. And uh, I'm gonna get these prints up. Also because I rent where I'm currently staying, obviously we're not allowed to make any like huge changes. Like we're not allowed to paint the walls. We're not allowed to like bang nails or anything. But in terms of like actually hanging things up, we are allowed to, as long as they're like put up with things which doesn't ruin the walls afterwards. Here we go, command strips are on. I've got my measuring app on my phone. Oh, I can't see, I don't know, maybe a bit lower, maybe a bit higher. How does that look? Does that look good? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I need to be quick. No, I think that's nice. Is it level? That's the question. What is level? Go on, Jay. I don't think any higher, right? I mean, it's on the wall now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the second one off camera and then obviously I'll update you once they're both on. Fingers crossed the second one goes on nicely because that actually was pretty smooth. So after a lot of shaking and a lot of going back and forth, the prints are finally up and not gonna lie, I really, really like them. I just think they're really, really nice. And again, for six pounds each, I just thought that was such a bargain for two extra large prints. Can you guys see that I'm literally sweating? <laughs> I'm literally sweating. And I just put two prints up on the wall. God, what am I like? Oh my God, how cute do they look in the background? Oh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. That is the end of today's vlog, so I'm gonna leave it here. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's vlog. If you guys did enjoy it, then don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Deer content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching. Mwah.